Mikoto Shinkai, a name some of you might recognize, but most of you might know him from his work. He is the director of Your Name, The Garden of Words, Weathering With You, and most recently, Suzume. Mikoto Shinkai and his animators create some of the most stunning scenes I have seen in anime. For this Blender project, I tried to recreate this scene from the anime Suzume. After three weeks of working, here is the final result. Now you might be asking, how does a person with less than optimal art skill create 2D artwork to put into 3D scene? By cheating, of course. What do I mean by this? Well, let's get into the video and I will show you. For starter, I used a reference image. Now when I said I used a reference image, I meant I literally used the reference image. I painted over the actual image. The program I'm using to do this is called Affinity Photo, which is basically like Photoshop without the monthly subscription or the cancellation fee. I started off with this picture of the lighthouse and used the clone tool and the blemish tool to get rid of the things that I didn't want. Then I used the paint mixer tool, which helps mix in the color and give it a painterly look. I also decided to add a little bit of red on the lighthouse. And similar to that, instead of relying only on the paint mixer tool, I also went ahead and used the regular brush tool and added more texture to the grass by using different brushes. And I think it really helped bring out the highlight and break the uniform look. After I was done with the background and the sky, I moved on to the road. I duplicated the picture of the road and then added another picture of a manhole cover. And similar to before, I used the mix brush tool to give this painterly look. And did the exact same thing for the sidewalk. Next, I moved on to the road barrier. And here I did the same exact thing, except I duplicated the original picture and overlaid it on top of the painted layer. And this helped keep a little bit of the shine from the original picture. Next, I did the retainer sidewall, which is the same as the sidewalk. I just added an image of cracks to it and erased most of it to get rid of the harsh lines. I also added some color variation to give it weathered look. And finally, I added some flower bushes on the top using leaf brushes that I downloaded from the Affinity website. And before moving to Blender, I decided to also create some trees. I used these tree stencils as the base and used the mask tool when coloring in the trunk and finally added the leaves on top of everything. And now it was time to put everything together in Blender. To start off, you want to delete the default cube and then add an image and then pick mesh plane. And then you want to add all the drawings to the scene. Make sure you click this viewport setting to actually see the images. I then added a sun and then put the strength to 3. After adding the camera, I scaled up the cloud and the background image. In order to make a loop road, I went ahead and added a curve and then click circle. I then selected the road and went to edit mode and start creating loop cuts. And the way to add loop cuts is by pressing Ctrl R and then scrolling on your mouse wheel. Or you can also do subdivide. And the reason you want to add the loop cut or subdivide is to make sure it curves correctly with the bezier curve or the circle. After that, I went back to object mode and click the modifier tool and then add modifier and click generate and then array. And then I change from fix count to fit curve and then click the dropper tool and then click the bezier circle. 
Next, you'll also have to add another modifier, but this time click Deform and then Curve. And then click the Dropper tool and then click the Bezier Circle. And this actually gave the look I was going for. I actually learned this from a YouTube Shorts video, which I will link in the description down below, along with any other useful tips I have learned along the way. One thing I will note is that you can scale this as much as you want and it will still retain within this bezier circle, meaning that you can make the plane as long or short as you need, but it will still be within this circle. Also, if for some reason your road or the plane is too jagged, it's probably because the original bezier curve is jagged. So you'll need to go to edit mode and subdivide it a few times. And once I had the road finished, I moved on to other planes, which is just repeating the same thing over and over again. It's just making sure you have enough loop cuts or subdivide and then adding the two modifiers. Once I had the two sidewalk and the retainer wall done, I moved on to the road barrier. The only difference here is I wanted to make sure it looked like a road barrier and not just a plane. As you can see here, I added some loop cuts to a certain part and then moved it to make it look like an actual barrier. And once I was satisfied with the result, I went ahead and subdivided a few times and then added the two modifiers. And here is the result of everything so far. I also wanted to add these electric poles, so I went back to the drawing parts and then painted over one of these. Once that was done, I brought it into Blender. I'll be honest with you, I was actually having a lot of trouble figuring out how to put it into the circle. For some reason, the poles were going sideways instead of long way. And playing around with different buttons, I figured out using the constant offset and playing around with X, Y, and Z actually helped fix this problem. As you can see here, there were too many poles right next to each other. So in order to mitigate this, I went ahead and looped the poles around a few times and made them stack right next to each other. And then used the constant offset to make it seem like there was only one. And this whole process was very finicky and I'm going to talk more about the problems with this project at the end. Moving on, I went to the world setting and then I changed the color to more of a light color. I also went ahead, changed the sun color to more of a warm tone. Next, I added the wires for the electric pole. First, I added a bezier curve. Then I clicked this curve modifier and then scrolled down to the bevel section and then increase the depth. Then I went to edit mode and placed it right in between two poles. And then change the material color to more of a grayish color. Duplicating these from one pole to another was very difficult. Especially due to the curvature of the road, this was actually making things more difficult. If I didn't create the road as a curved road, then I think it would have been a lot more easier. As a still frame, this works very well, but whenever animating, it kind of breaks apart. Since I couldn't animate the poles and the wires together, they had to be animated separately. But overall, it worked out at the end. Next, I downloaded this car model from Sketchfab. After completing the shader editor, I went ahead and placed this car within the scene. Next, I added a cube and filled the whole scene with this cube. Then I went to shader editor and then deleted the principal BSDF and added a volume scatter node instead. As you can see here, I lowered the density and then played around with the color. I feel like this really helped bring everything together and create this anime aesthetic. And this was pretty much it. All that was left is to do the animation. And for the animation, I selected all of the planes that I want and then clicked I to insert the first frame. Then I went all the way to the end clicked the last frame and then moved everything along the X axis and then pressed I again to insert the last frame. And for the car, all I did was rotate the wheels on the Y axis. Now whenever I play back the animation, it gives the illusion that the car is moving. And as for the background, all I did was move the background up slowly. 
I also went back to the volume scatter node and tried tweaking it a little bit along with the camera angle. And last but not least is animating the trees, which is fairly straightforward. I think you already know how I did that. Overall, I don't think the end result came out too bad. Despite me trying to cheat and figure out a way to combat my lack of art skill, this whole project still took over 3 weeks to make. Now that's probably mainly due to the background I chose and trying to make a curved road instead of just a straight road. I don't know why I started off with this complex shot. I should have started off with something simple and then gradually increased over time. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is considered cheating or is it a viable way for a non-artist like me to create something 2D in 3D. But anyway, thanks for watching and here is the final result.